welcome to another video. My name is Captain Giorgio and today we'll be talking about the elements of design. As promised, today we'll be talking about form as a visual element. Alright, let's get started. So again, just to reiterate to those who randomly found this video on the internet, what I'm currently doing is talking about the elements of design and how they can be implemented into the photography medium. The elements of design are the building blocks towards a composition. This composition which helps express an idea and helps the viewer understand your artistic expression. So let's talk about form, because unlike shape, form actually has depth. Remember that photographs are flat based, they are not 3D objects. However, the objects that we do capture in our photographs, with the guidance of highlights, midtones, and shadows, we're able to create form. Sometimes form can be recognizable, like we can identify what is it that we're being presented with. But when form can be experimental is when we're presented something that we really can identify, yet it looks real because it was created on a foundation of what we see. Like think about Apple when they release a new iPhone product, right? We're presented with images and renders of the new product that's soon to be released. And as a result, it makes us imagine just how it would feel like once that product gets into our hand. But the, the thing is that we already do this every day when we react to objects around us. It's our foundation. Whenever we're introduced to new objects or items, we may not realize it, but our mind is already thinking about its form, how this object can be handled, and it's already thinking about how our natural senses may react to it. So let's say for example, if I show you this object, right? If I show you this object without context or without any information of what this does, can you tell me its weight, its height, its size, its feeling? It's a, is it sharp? Is it smooth? <laughs> Maybe not, but thanks to its form, we can make a prediction. In photography, it's just like that. The information is already provided to us. All it just needs is someone to interpret it. It's in our instinct to react to the world around us. Our brains are constantly being stimulated. So when form becomes anonymous or mysterious, uh, something unrecognizable, that is when we realize our capabilities of interpretation. Just like shape, there's two kinds of form, organic form and geometric form. So what is geometric form? Usually it's the type that is man-made, whether if it's through architecture or fine art for example, it can give off the impression of order, control, and cleanliness. Whereas organic forms, it's a type of form that's provided to us by nature. Usually the kind of form that is complex in structure and can give off the impression of something unpredictable or irregular. It's not really, perhaps even symmetrical. So if you think you know what I'm talking about, please let me know down in the comments. And let me know how you think I'm doing. Am I being clear enough as well? I'd be really happy you could tell me down in the comments like whether I'm doing a good job or if there are ways I can improve in explaining this world of art. If there's something that you're not understanding or not seeing, please let me know as well as that helps me understand more of how is it that my viewers are interpreting this video. <laughs> Depending on how you use form in your composition, it can pass down a lot of information. Depending on how you light up your scene, you can't make the subjects in your photographs either have depth or volume, but in the end, remember that the presentation will always be flat because it's still just an image. Only in the way that light is being showcased that gives us the illusion of something having depth. Does that make sense? Like this picture has no depth, for example. You know, it's a flat image. It's a, it's a 2D JPEG file, right? But with the aid of highlights, midtones, and shadows presented to us in these photographs, it helps our eye identify what's far and what's close. You don't need to have light all the time. Light could also just be the sun, which is the most natural form of light. Due to its form, we can identify that this is a table, that this is a wall, a window, etc. etc. Here's an example of a picture that creates form from something that's not recognizable, but yet we are curious in the feeling of what it could feel like to touch, smell, hear, or even taste this new form. Capturing form is not really that difficult, but as a photographer, you have to figure out a way in how you're going to arrange your form in order to convey a message. 
developing an artistic eye takes time, so it's always good to practice. One way to get better is to start seeing how others have presented form in their work. Which brings me to my next point. I have a collage here of photographers that I believe express the power of form very well. If you like what you see, please consider following them on their social media, which is why I left their username attached. As we look over these pictures, take a look at the way they were able to use form to express an idea. All right, let's jump into it. I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back, I hope you enjoyed the presentation, and I hope it gave you some ideas on how to use form in your photograph. So do you think these photographers used form effectively? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Once again, as a reminder, I'm just simply trying to show you how to see. Remember my goal is to show you examples so you can start visually noting the complexities of art and how those complexions affect us emotionally. I hope this was a good example of that. All in all, thank you for the privilege of your time and I hope to see you in the next one. But yeah, if these videos are helping you out in any way, please let me know down in the comments. I'll, I'll be, I'm, I'd be very happy to hear from what you have to say about these videos. Are you understanding what, I'm, what is it that I'm trying to say? Are you visually understanding the examples that I'm presenting you? You know, all these things, I just want to hear from you. Just wanted to see if whatever it is that I'm saying is all good. And yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep let's start uh let's start seeing the world differently. The next video that I'm working on is kind of it's gonna be um a little bit off topic from what I normally talk about, so please expect something that's like completely out of my niche. I'm trying to do like a product review, <laughs> but we'll get back to talking about art real soon again. So don't worry about it. We'll continue on with the elements of design. All right. Well, that's it for now. Hope you stay safe. Hope you enjoy your day. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy what you're doing. And as always, stay creative. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.